Good morning again, boys and girls. We're so glad you could come out to join us today at Living for the Brand. Uh, we're again coming to you from the Children's Church Department. And just remember that we miss you and we're just looking forward to us all getting back together. Uh, we are going to have a couple of nights in June uh, when our children are going to come together and do some crafting. So if you're interested in doing that, please give us a call here at the church. But before we begin, we're going to hear a story about a, a great big man today. So but before we get into the story, let's go to our Lord and Savior in prayer. Our kind and gracious Father, we come before you again on this beautiful day that you've given us. We thank you, Lord, for the boys and girls. We thank you for the parents, Lord, for all of our families. Lord, we thank you for the world that we live in and the fact that you are our God. We thank you again. Amen. Okay, today we're going to hear a story about a giant, a giant named Goliath. Years and many years ago, God's people, the Israelites, had wars with the Philistines. And um, they'd come to a battlefield. Philistines are on one side of the valley, and God's people are over here on the other side of the valley. People over here. And this giant would come out every day, and he would talk to the people. The people would come, he'd come out of there, he'd say, Oh, we don't need to have a war. Just send one of your brave warriors to fight. And whoever wins, they'll be the victor. If I win, you will be my slaves. If you win, my people will be your slaves. And it just, it, for 40 days, it went on. Every morning he would come out and talk to people, and every night, would, and he was nine feet tall. I mean, he carried this huge sword. He had a spear that the head weighed 25 pounds, and God's people were scared. They forgot that God fights their battles for them. And they were scared of him. And they were just they were sitting there saying, What are we going to do? He's a giant. We can't fight them. We can't win. And, uh, but there was a, a shepherd boy, and his name was David. And David had three brothers who were fighting in the king's army. And one day, he was out in the field with the sheep, taking care of the sheep, and his father, Jesse, called him and just said, uh, David, I want you to go over there and check on your brothers. Take them some food and take them some things they probably need and see And uh, so David did. And he gets here. He comes and he says, look, what's going on? Why are y'all quaking? Why are you afraid? Why are you letting that man talk about God's people like this? And they said, oh, you know, he's just a giant. There's, there's nothing we can do. He'll just kill us all if we, if we try to have battle with him. And um, David said, well, I'm not afraid of him. I'll go fight him. Now, David is just a, a young man, a, a boy. And uh, his brothers hear about you know how brothers are. And then his brothers come, they come hurrying over and they say, what are you doing? You are just a child and you need to get back here with the sheep and do your job and leave soldiering to us. And he said, well, no, he said, I'm not afraid. He said, I'll go fight that giant. And of course, they're just saying, oh, this is just ridiculous. You just need to go home and do what you're supposed to do. But somebody heard David talking, and they went to talk to the king and said, there's a young boy over here. He says, he'll go fight the, the king. Now, isn't this unreal? All of these soldiers are afraid to die. But this young boy is willing to go. So the king talks to him. He says, well, you know, you're just a child. There's, there's no way you can do this. And he said, he said, no. He said, I take care of my sheep. And he said, I have to kill lions and I have to kill bears. And my God is always with me 
and I'll win, and then I'll get my sheep. So the king said, well, sounds like a plan to me. We'll just, basically, we'll sacrifice this child, and we'll save all of our soldiers. And so the king said, well, here, you need to wear my armor. So, man, he starts putting his shields in his helmet. This stuff weighs lots of, of pounds. And David gets it all on and he says, well, this stuff is so heavy. I, I can't even move. I can't fight like this. So he puts it on the And he reaches down into a spring and he picks him up some little pebbles, little rocks. And back in that day, uh, boys had slingshots. And we don't let have slingshots in this day and age. And uh, David took his slingshot. That's what he used to protect his, his sheep with, was his slingshot and his staff that he would carry. And so he goes off to, to do battle with this giant. Well, this king and all these people are still standing back here looking. As David goes over here to face the Philistine giant with Goliath. And when Goliath sees him, he says, What is this? This is the most ridiculous thing I've ever seen. You have sent a child to fight a giant of a warrior? What a joke. And David said, But Goliath, he said, I'm not the one fighting you. My God is the one who's going to do battle with you. So he reaches into his pocket and he takes up one of his pebbles, he puts it in his sling, and he whirls it around and it strikes his head. He falls down. And they comes across and he takes up Goliath's sword and he kills him. But do you know why he was able to do that? Because he trusted God. God will fight our battles today. It doesn't matter what they are, whether they're big or whether they're little. David put his faith in God. All these soldiers put their faith in what they could do. And that's a lesson we need to remember. We need to remember that we can do nothing ourselves. And you know, we we all say, well, look what I did, whether it's clean our house or clean our room or make an A on a test. You know, we can take credit for all of that. But really, it's God who allows us to do this. It's God that we should give credit. And that's exactly what David did. And the thing is, he was such a devoted person to God. In the Bible, as he becomes a man, he becomes the king himself. He's known as a, a man after God's own heart. Because and he wasn't perfect. He made lots of horrible mistakes. So when he made a mistake, he went to God and he would say, God, I've messed up. Will you forgive me? And we're going to all make mistakes. And we're going to all mess up. But we need to ask for forgiveness and try to do better because that's just asking for forgiveness and going ahead and doing what we're doing is not how that works. We need to try to change by changing our hearts and putting our faith in God to take care of us. And that's our story today about the young boy who was able to slay the giant. Remember to keep practicing your music. And we hope to see you very soon. Have a good day.